Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Praise God. And uh, it's Christmas Day now. Um, praise the Lord in the Southern Hemisphere. It is. Still it, Christmas Eve here for cr- us. Christmas Eve for, for us here. But we wanted to come on and just say Merry Christmas. And yes. we've been doing... Uh, Pastor Jilly's joined me today for Christmas. <laughs> praise the Lord. She's been around all the time <laughs> with the other recordings, just not in front of the camera. Yeah, just behind um, it. <laughs> just behind the camera. Um but we're just so grateful uh, for our church family, for all of our friends, mm-hmm. um, the new friends we've made here. Yeah, praise man. God. New family yeah. we've made here yeah. as well. God always yeah. provides and gives yes, us special people in our lives wherever we go, which is absolutely wonderful. Mm-hmm. So we just we bless and love the Tyler family, Amen. Uh, the Tyler family, the, the, uh, the pastors, uh, Joel and Evie and their kids and all the other people here. It's been wonderful. But mm-hmm. we're thinking also very much. Uh, as we go into this Christmas of all of our wonderful friends and family in Australia, New Zealand, uh, in Hawaii, yeah. David's in Hawaii. Yeah, he is. Um, of course, Matt there in Australia as well, Mum and Linda, and, and all of our church family and friends. Uh, you're all very, very precious mm-hmm. to us. Praise God. So we just want to have a couple of minutes. Um, I've been talking about really about the nativity and, and a lot about Mary, actually. Mm-hmm. And the things that uh, she would have gone through, um, I, we, I think, Jilly, you know, I mean, I've never given birth to a baby. You have. But um, we often think about uh, this young girl. She's been just been told she's going to be have a baby. She's going to be with child. She, it's not, there's no man. Joseph's having to deal with the dynamics of that. Angel vis- An angel visits them and she tells them. But we soft, often we read the nativity story like some picture postcard, mm-hmm. but don't think about the reality no. of all, all that people are going through and and how they had to magnify God in the midst of this. And I don't know what you're going through this Christmas time, uh, but whatever, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever challenges are trying to come your way, magnify God Amen. with all of your soul. Amen. What does the soul comprise of? The mind? The will, the will and the emotions. emotions. So whatever your mind is focused on, make God bigger. Yeah. Whatever you, your, your de- the decisions you need to make, make the decisions mm-hmm. based on God's word. Amen. What you know to be God's plan for your life. Uh, emotions. Bring your emotions into a place of submission to, to the, the, the bigness, the magnificence of God Amen. and his plan for your life. Praise God. Amen. And and Mary said, my, my soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices. Yeah. So with that, with that spirit, we use the, the force, the spirit, force of the spirit, joy, love, joy, peace, mm-hmm. patience. So um, those are the things that we talked about with Mary. And yesterday we said in verse 49, it says, He who is almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. And we, we, we've talked about that God is, God is for us. God has done great things for us. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I want, everywhere we go, I, I would love people to get a revelation of how much God loves, loves them. You know, Julie, I believe if people would actually get a revelation mm-hmm. of, how, of the Father's heart, yeah. I know this is a subject mm-hmm. close to your heart, <laughs> but if people would get a revelation of the Father's heart, yeah. Um, they would have so much more confidence for the future. Yeah. So much right. more confidence for the moment. Yeah. If you just, if you just, I mean, it doesn't matter if you know how much God loves you. It doesn't matter what's trying to press against you in that moment because you know God has already made a way. Yeah. He is. He has already uh, planned what's yeah. next, and it's good. Yeah. That's right. It, it's probably one of the greatest revelations any Christian believer can ever have is how much. Our Heavenly Father really, really loves us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's and the basis of everything. It comes is. out of that. Then it is your trust, your obedience, um, the ability to step out when He, yeah, your obedience, <laughs> stepping mm, out mm. and doing what He's asking you to do. That's right. Comes out of that place of knowing, that security of knowing who He is. Who He is. And His character. Yeah. Yeah. And when, when things come or people come or, or situations come to try to challenge what we know of his character, yeah. you know, there's also always people that show up and say, well, you know, 
it's not going to work this time or the devil tries to push something or the situation tries to say well you know okay yeah god got you through it last time but you know he's really missed it this time you know this this is going to go back but if you know the love of god his character can't be challenged like that on the inside of you can no, it no no my kids know us that they know Jilly and I, they know our character. They've seen us in the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know. Yeah. And they've seen the consistency with which we've been able to come through. We don't get everything right. But if someone tried to persuade our kids that we were evil people, yeah. it didn't matter what evidence people would come up with. I, I don't believe our kids would believe it because they know us. Yeah, that's right. And in, in this, in Luke chapter 1, Mary obviously has a revelation Mm -hmm. and it wouldn't have been through study because as a young Jewish girl she wouldn't have had she would have learnt the Bible she would have gone to synagogue she would have heard the Bible stories but she would not have studied the the way the young boys would have done but what she says in this song the song of Mary um, and the magnification of God shows there's a revelation on the inside of her of how great her God is and how much he loves her and how much he's not going to let her down. Did you have something there oh, from Psalms? Yeah, just Psalm 103 as you started talking. Um, I'm just trying to find... Is that bless um, the Lord, O my soul? Is that how it starts um, out? Yeah, but I'll just... Um, but, but Lord, your endless love stretches from one eternity to the other unbroken and unrelenting towards those who fear you and those who bow face down in awe before you your faithfulness to keep every gracious promise you've made passes from parents to children to grandchildren and beyond you are faithful to all those who follow your ways and keep your word Hallelujah. Yeah, so just as That's you were so talking good. about the generation. Yeah, thing well, it's so good because listen to what happens next. Let's read it from verse 49. For he who is almighty, this is, remember, this is Mary declaring this, that these things right now. She's, she's with Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth has got John the Baptist. She's pregnant with John the Baptist. Mm-hmm. So this is the revelation that's coming out of Mary. For he who is almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, to be venerated in his purity, majesty, and glory. And his mercy, his compassion and kindness towards the miserable and afflicted. And it doesn't matter what situation you find yourself. It doesn't matter if the, what's surrounding you is just miserable. Mm. His mercy is, is, is on you. And on those who fear him with godly reverence. Now watch this. This, is, this lines up with what you just read out in mm-hmm. Psalm 103. From generation to generation. Mm-hmm. And age to age, this is not limited to the moment. This is, this this goes from generation to generation, century to century, millennia to millennia. God's mercy, His love, His His goodness continues. And in fact, <clears throat> verse fifty in the Amplified Classic has a footnote: mm-hmm. Psalm one hundred and three, verse seventeen. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> um, what you just quoted, without yeah. knowing it, yeah, it was is actually. Yeah. The quotation that Mary, by the Holy Spirit, was quoting yeah. in this. Now, again, she was not learned uh, like the young boys would have been, but she, by the Holy Spirit, now is quoting Psalm 103, verse 17, which the link on this says, But the mercy and loving kindness of the Lord are from everlasting to everlasting upon those who reverently and worshipfully fear him, and his righteousness is to children's children. Praise mm-hmm. God. We've got a children's child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've got one, <laughs> Evelyn, uh, and so you you start to when you when that happens you do start to pick up on this multi generational faithfulness mm-hmm. of God mm-hmm. to our kids and kids kids and so forth, uh, and so I just wanted to deposit that today Christmas Day, yeah, um, how good God is, how Amen. faithful God is, His mercy endures forever. Amen. And that word, uh, 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 forever, what this is, Psalm 103, what Luke 1, this generation to generation, everlasting to everlasting, means that it comes from the everlasting mm-hmm. and is everlasting. Yeah. His faithfulness comes from the limitless place. Yeah. Uh, it's not affected by the limited. And it goes on limitlessly. Mm-hmm. 
Praise God. Amen. What a great thought for Christmas Day. Amen. It is Amen. indeed. <laughs> Hallelujah. So enjoy that. Meditate on that. Go into the scriptures. Look at Luke chapter 1, Psalm 103. Think about what Mary was saying and the power of what was coming out of her heart and out of her mouth this Christmas Day. Amen. And praise God. We pray that you have had an amazing Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be Christmas evening. Was it be 7 p.m.? I think no, it was 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Oh, yes. this is the morning. So <laughs> yeah. if, you've, if you're watching this live, well done. <laughs> you may have been up for hours if you've got little kids. Yeah. Um, and you may be sitting there in your jammies just enjoying your Christmas morning. Well, uh, we're just so thrilled to be able to, to join you just for a few yeah. minutes and just say we love you. We bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas Amen. day. Amen. Enjoy everything about it. If you're part of Living River Southland, Tune in tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pastor Jillian and I on Boxing Day will be greeting you and uh, and just sharing a word with you, which would probably be quite a lot of it from what we've just shared just uh -huh. now, talking about God's goodness going into the new year. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. We love you and we love bless you. you. Bye. Bye-bye.